Hi, this is Mr. Knowles, and this is an enrichment activity for what we're doing in math. It relates to volume, which we're learning in math class right now. And we're going to use isometric paper, which you can get from me in class. I'll also have a, a document that you can download at home and print it, so you have your own isometric paper. If you can't find it on my web page, you can always just uh, search for it online. Just look for isometric.paper which is right here. And we're going to use it to make three-dimensional figures, specifically rectangular prisms, which are basically cube-like shapes. For example, this right here is a rectangular prism. It's a special math term. All right, so hopefully you got isometric dot paper, and I'm going to take you through some problems, and then you'll solve the volume volume of them and turn it into me. Let's get started. Use isometric dot paper to sketch a rectangular prism two units high, three units long, and six units wide. Well, let me think about this before I actually start. It's going to be two units high, six units wide, so it's going to be longer, and what was my last one? Oh, three units long, so then I'm going to have one going out like this, three, and then I would close my figure, and it would look something like that, and that's kind of a free draw. Sorry, it's a little off the screen there, or actually it's where my writing is looks something like that. Alright, so let's take this with the isometric paper. So it's going to be two units high. So I'm going to start here and go measure up two units. And just draw a line that's two units in height. And then if I go back, it's going to be six units wide in another direction. So I'm going to go six units from this point. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. And my last one was three units. Because I didn't quite go in order. Sorry about that at home. So three. One, two, three. And something I'd advise you at home is always start on one dot and extend out in those three directions. And those are your three dimensions. So now I just got to put it together. So over here, on the right side of the figure, I'm going to measure up two units, because that's the height. And then these will connect there. And you'll notice that if you do that correctly, this line and this line are parallel. And that's important to make it look 3D. Way over on the left, the height is 2. And now I can connect those. And I think you might start seeing what we're building. And then I can do this, and I can do this this way. And now you start hopefully seeing a, kind of a box, a 3D box. And I can actually connect my dots like this, and you'll see cubes form along the top, and then this way. And then I'm going to go down like this. And across. I'm going to erase that little thing there. Use my little eraser. Get rid of that. And then I'm going to draw this line. Oops, my mistake. Sorry about that at home. Let's try that again. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, 
than that. And I just did my first rectangular prism, and I made it with the dimensions given. It has a, has a height of two units, it has a length of six units, and it has a width of three units. And then you could even shade it and make it look really cool. Um, give it some more uh, artistic look to it, make it even look more 3D. So at the beginning of my page here, you can see how it's shaded. The different sides are shaded different shades of gray and it gives it a more more 3D effect. You could do that, I think. Good. Let's go on to the next one. Use isometric dot paper to sketch a cube with a length of five units on each side. Okay, so we're working with a cube. Each side is five units in length. I think I can do that. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to go out in each direction five units, and then close my figure, and it should be a cube. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. Go up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I just have to close it. One, two, three, four, five. Let me bring this down. One, two, three, four, five. Connect that. I'm going to have a problem here. You won't be able to see the top of my cube. That's not good. I'm going to have to copy this and drag it down a little. Sorry about that. It's a little big. You guys should be able to do this on your paper, though. So I just moved it down. So now I'm going to go up on my paper, and I just got to close the top. There. So th there it is. A little large, but I think you can get the idea. And now I would very simply do this across the top in this direction and then I would draw these down these go across Over here, my last side, my third side, and now I have a cube that's got a length, a width, and a height of five units. Pretty cool, huh? Let's go on to the next one. Use isometric dot paper to sketch a rectangular prism that has the following dimensions. A height of 1, a width of, a width of 2, and a length of 3. So 1, 2, 3. Okay. So I'm going to go up 1. I'm going to go over 2. And my last dimension is 3. So this is 3. This was 1. This was 2. Now I just have to build the rest of it. Oop, I think I went too far on that one. Yep, sometimes that happens. That's why we got erasers. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I just got to close this here. And there's my three-dimensional figure. Pretty cool, huh?
That one was pretty easy, actually. Should have did that first. All right. Use isometric dot paper to sketch a rectangular prism that has the following dimensions. 6, 2, and 5. Height of 6, width of 2, length of 5. All right. I hope that fits on my paper. I'll try to start as low as I can. Start down here. A height of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wow. What was my other ones? Width of 2, length of 5. A width of 2. 1, 2. So this is 2. This was 6. And the other one's 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. Now I just got to close everything up. So I go this way. And I come down. I have to go this way. 5. Ooh, do I have enough room? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I do. So this comes down. Yep. I was afraid I was going to run out of room. So I have to do the same old thing. Hopefully you guys realize that you need a little extra room too. So we'll do that. I gotta close this. And now I can finish it off by showing all the cubes that are inside. Not too bad, though. I almost got the whole thing in there. It would be a good idea is to have a really good ruler for that nice straight edge to draw nice straight lines. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. So this rectangular prism has a height of 6, a length of 5, and a width of 2. All right. I hope you're able to do all four of these. And the last part, what I'd like you to try to do is go back to the four problems, to the four rectangular prisms that you made and find the volume of all four of them and write it next to the shape. <clears throat> so if I go back to the first problem, this one, I want you to try to figure out the volume of that figure. So hopefully you remember how to find volume that we learned about in math class and then record it next to the shape. So that's my challenge to you. And after you do that, you can turn this paper into me. I hope this has been helpful and I hope that you challenge yourself to continue to draw these rectangular prisms on isometric paper. I think it would really help you with visualizing volume of 3D objects. And if you continue to do this, I might challenge you with some really interesting shapes in the future. So just ask when you're ready. I hope this has been helpful to you.